If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get with the boys. Where are my mermen at, huh? All this wham and talk. Come on. The male counterparts of the mythical female mermaids are legendary creatures, which are male human. From the waist up, fish-like forms waist down, but may assume normal human shape. Sometimes they describe as hideous, and other times, handsome. Antiquity. Perhaps the first record mer I mean, was the early Bibli uh, Babylonian sea god E, eh? whose Sumerian name was Inki and was known as the Greeks as Ones. Ones had a fish head and a man's head beneath. Wow, the both, uh, both a fish tail and man like legs. That's so it's a guy in a fish costume. That's a guy in a fish costume. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> like, hold on. I found him. <laughs> I found. <laughs> hey guys, I found. <laughs> I found Onus. <laughs> he's just chilling. He's vibing. <laughs> Look at that. He's having a good time. Selling off his costume. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing great. Greco Roman. Greco Roman mythology. Trying to the Greek mythology was depicted as half man, half fish, merman, 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 in ancient Greek art. Triton was the son, son of the sea god Poseidon, and the sea goddess Aphrodite. F M M What? How to say? Help me out here. How J say? Amphitrite. 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 Gotcha. Jeez. I get it. Jeez. Medieval period. Mermen were sometimes held responsible for causing violent storms and sinking ships. A twin tail merman is depicted in the Banco world map. Whoa. That's dope. A merman and mer my maid are shown in the Ben Bahim globe. Renaissance period. Whoa. In chapter on Triton mythology, Triton gave the name Sea Pan or Sea Satire to an artist's image he attained, which he said was in it the Oh God, it's the low centaur or sea devil. Gaznir sea devil has been described to be a modern commentary as having the lower body of a fish, the upper body of a man, the head on horns, the, of the buck goat of the buck goat. Oh, horns of a buck goat or the devil and the breast of a woman. That just sounds like some like, that sounds like some weird porn right there. Whoa. The illustration was apparently ultimately based on a skeletal specimen in mummies. Gasnier explained that such creature had placed an exhibit in Rome on 3 November, 1523, 3rd of November. Oh no, I said three. Elsewhere in Gaznier's book, it is stated that the sea monster, monstrous Merinim, viewed on the same date of the size of the five-year-old. In Germanic folklore, Icelandic folklore speaks of mermen known as the Marbindler. The Marbindler is a Scandinavian um, ballad of a late composition that tells that tales of a merman who was mated to a human woman named Agonetti and unsuccessfully pleaded for her to come back to him and their children in the sea. Whoa. Celtic folklore. In the Irish narrative of a male, a marrow named Kumar, described as an extremely ugly creature. <laughs> With green hair, teeth, and skin, narrow eyes, and red nose. 
just sounds like a shitty Santa. Turned out to be f- fake lore. Damn. Not even folklore, just fake lore. That sounds like something like a shitty bully would say. Let's see here. In, Con- in Cornish folklore, into early modern times, the Buka described as a lonely, mournful character with the skin of a cougar eel. And the hair of seaweed is still placid with the votive offering of fish left on the beach by fishermen. Merriman's up here. Matthew Arnold wrote a poem called The Forsaken Merman about a merman. Literature and pop culture, we're focusing on this part now. Matthew Arnold wrote a poem called The Forsaken Merman about the merman whose human wife abandoned him and their children. Merman, no, wait. merman may feature in science fiction and fantasy literature. For example, science fiction uh, writer Joe Hattleman wrote two books, Ata the Merman in which a genetically enhanced merman can communicate telepathically with dolphins. Samuel R. Delany wrote of the short story Drift Glass, in which mermen are deliberately created surgically as amphibious human beings with gills. Yikes. While in J.K. Rowling, a race of mer people uh, live in lake outside of Hogwarts. That's Stupid. Mermen sometimes appear in modern comics, games, television shows, and films, although they were once depicted largely as being unattractive in some traditions. As described in previous sections in some modern work, mermen were portrayed as handsome, strong, and brave. Yeah, that's right, because people got horny. In 1977 and 78, television series Man of Atlantis, the mermen as place as Patrick Duffy is described as a survivor from Atlantis. The DC comics the mythology mermen are commonly fixture of the Aquaman mythos. Yeah, and he's fucking popular. Often showing a par what? Parochalistic rivalry. How do you say that? How do you say that, Warren? Oh, you don't even know? Great. Uh, rivalry with humanoids, water breathers, and the mer, uh, mermen of merfolk all to appear in Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. Mm. The Australian TV series, Mako Islands of Secrets, the spinoff of H2O Just Add Water. <laughs> That's a stupid name. Includes a teenage boy named Zach, of course, who turns into a merman. Glad this bad His name is Professor Voltage. Professor Voltage. Professor Voltage.